Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. This time it's of the Water and Lights wireless speaker coming to us from the Sharper Image. So, um, just looking at the front here, we can tell it's a Bluetooth speaker. It has LED lights, high def sound, rechargeable battery, and an aux in port. He, turning over here, just another picture of the item in action. And then on the back, some more details. Um, so, all right, so in case it's not coming up, I'll just read it real quick. Multicolored LED lights, underwater jets, Bluetooth connectivity for easy wireless listening, rechargeable options so the speaker can go anywhere, small footprint for easy placement and portability, aux in option for wired devices, cable is included. And what's included in the box? Well, the aux in cable, the a USB charging cable, and a user manual. And then those little icons we saw in the front of the box. This is, okay, Bluetooth, obviously. And then this choice collection. That's, I don't know, Sharper Image is a little subcategory or whatever. Okay. So I mentioned the brand Sharper Image, and I thought at this point it would be appropriate to give a real brief history of the brand, where they've been and where they are now. Um, so back in the 90s, the Sharper Image was the place to go for high-tech gadgets. Um, it really um, it had more innovative items than even, say, Best Buy. And it really became, I would say, more of a boutique-type store as opposed to just like a big warehouse or a department store. And um, big favorite were the massage chairs. At the time, they had a whole bunch of these, you know, chairs with like the 52 different settings and all the different motors and stuff to give you the ultimate massage. And it was also a place where you could go and try out these new gadgets. I mean, not all of them, but some, of, a lot of them were available for you to try out and kind of mess around with in the store. So it came, it was a pretty place, it was a cool place to go. I actually liked those stores a lot. But then they closed and then they went to an online only store. Um, which, if you think about it, what I just described about well, being able to try things, or at least a good portion of the things, that obviously was gone because now it was an online store. On top of that, they didn't have nearly the inventory they had in the actual physical store. I know that seems kind of backwards, but, I mean, when I went on, they had like 10 things you could buy. Like, really? Anyway, then they disappeared for a while, and then they've come back in this more current form where they don't have their own stores anymore. Instead, they, I, they have their items, I guess, licensed or agreed to be sold at other retailers. Um, so name your big box store, and there you go. And in this current version, um, I noticed their items, A, they're not as nearly as expensive as they were. Um, the build quality, of course, going on with what I just said, isn't near where it was before either. And they seem to come out only around the holidays, um, I guess, for, you know, quick gifts, uh, quick gift idea. So... Um, we're going to go in and look in this. Hopefully some of that old Sharper image still remains in their items, but um, again, with the price point being what it is and they're only being out seasonal, I don't believe so. But this could be a great thing. I don't know. We're going to find out, right? Okay, so I went ahead and um, the top was secured with these little circle stickers, three of them. So got that out of the way. Inside, there's a styrofoam container okay it's a half half split container okay so what um this thing fell out and uh this is one of those uh if things not performing right don't return it go ahead and contact this number all right okay and the styrofoam is a two-piece held together by um cheap packing tape and um Okay, interesting. Um, all right, so here is the USB, and it is actually micro USB, uh, regular. So, and here is the um, aux cable, 3.5 to 3.5. Uh, yeah. All right, and here is the item. Now. Okay. Now, oh, I do not. Okay, hold on a second. That is not a lot of water. <laughs> In fact, okay, so wait. Okay, well, the box wasn't wet. 
so it's not as if all this leaked out. Um, so I'm starting to wonder if that's all the water there's supposed to be. And, okay, so maybe, okay, all right, all right. So maybe instead of this being a full column of water and then having little air bubbles shoot up, maybe it actually shoots the water up like a little fountain. And, um, yeah, just to, there is no feel port, okay? <laughs> you don't add water here or anything. So, yeah, okay. So, that's different. Um, okay. So, I'm not, we're, we're assuming that that's how it works. So, okay, let's just look here. Then we have, the, obviously, the main speaker in front, uh, on the back. Uh, right here are our ports. You see you have the DC 5 volt. That's to charge it then the aux in, and then of course the on-off switch. And that's it for buttons. The base has this kind of uh, felty um, foam type deal. Yeah, it's foam, not felt. Anyways, to stop it from slipping and not scratching your nice table. All right, so um, I guess at this point, uh, I'm gonna have to charge this up and we're gonna have to see it work. Now I'm really curious. Um, I will say though, um, if you look at this picture, and I'm going to do this side by side here, okay, I don't know about you, but right from the box, I assumed this whole thing was full of water, and when you get this, uh, my first reaction was, oh man, this one's defective, it already leaked all its water out, so I'm going to test it to make sure that's not the case, but if this is the way it's supposed to be, this would be different than the majority of these water bubble speakers that I've seen, so I guess I got to charge it up and we'll find out. All right, so I've had the chance to charge up the unit. Um, also, I wanted to make sure I showed this. This was the instruction guide that came with it. All right, so charging, pretty straightforward. You just plug it in. A little red light will come on to let you know it is, in fact, charging, and that red light goes away once it's reached full charge. Now, um, strangely, the LED, to let you know it's charging, that red light, is actually inside the aux in port. So, yeah, if you don't have anything plugged in there, it's fine. It just shines right through this little hole right here. But if you did have something plugged in, it would be pretty hard to see it, if at all. That's a really odd choice. I don't understand why they wouldn't just put, like, a little LED, like, right here on its own. That, I don't get that. But whatever. Moving on. Um, as far as pairing goes, um, with your Bluetooth-enabled device, most likely a phone or tablet, um this thing does not have a pairing button so to speak instead when you turn it on it automatically goes into pairing mode um, so that's just something to be aware of okay um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and actually pair it to my phone and I'm gonna demo this thing alright so I've gone ahead and paired it to my phone here um, really simple process turn on the speaker and then go ahead and um, in Bluetooth search for new device and then once you find it, um, its model number, then you just go ahead and click it, and then it'll do a little dance of water there to let you know that it has, in fact, connected. So I'm going to go ahead and connect right now, and um, it'll automatically um, pair with my cell phone since I've already done it once, the initial pairing. So you don't have to do that process twice. Here we go. So turning it on. I'm going to go ahead and play some music. Let's see here. Okay, so connection established, and here we go. And I'll put a link to this song um, in the description. So here we go.
So I think you get the idea there. Pretty. So, would I recommend this? Yes, but mainly as a novelty. So, what I'm getting at is if you need a speaker, a Bluetooth speaker, let's say you work outside and you want to be able to listen to your music as you work or whatever, then I'd recommend you get in a unit that's more focused on being a speaker, where all its focus is pointed to that. This one obviously has to make some compromises because it has all this other, the water jets and everything incorporated into it, so this speaker isn't as loud or as powerful as others might be. However, if you have that base covered with maybe a big Bluetooth boombox or something like that, or you don't need that amount of volume, then this would be a pretty good ch uh, choice. You get your Bluetooth speaker and you also get a cool water and light show. And in a way, that's really this device really is coming back to what Sharper Image was about. Cool ideas on top of just being functional.